Okay guys, so today we're going to have a look at the Spectra page builder for WordPress and what I'm going to do is to show you all the main essential features to help you build your dream website. Now I'd highly recommend that you watch the whole video and especially stick to the end where I will introduce you to a very unique feature called layout mapping using CSS Grid. Again, I'm almost certain you've never seen or heard of it. Now, I personally think that Spectra is a very strong solution, but again, I'll let you decide for yourself. Okay, so let's get started. Very good, so for this, we're gonna use ZipWP to create a stunning WordPress website in just 60 seconds. So this is gonna help us to launch a website very quickly, and then I can show you all the Spectra features one by one. So let me just log in. Very good, and right here, as you can see, you can create a new website. So you have two different options here, a complete website or a blank website. So in our case, we're gonna go through all the steps one by one. So I'm gonna select blank website, so I can show you how to install Spectra and demonstrate all the different features, okay? So let's click on this. So let's give it a name, so Spectra Demo, and then create a site. Very good, so this was very quick actually, a lot less than 60 seconds, let's say maybe four or five seconds all together. So right here you have your credentials, so you can use this and log in manually, or you can use this button here, one click login, and this is what we're going to do. And with this button, we'll access the back end of our website in just one click. So let's do that together. Very good, so welcome to your WordPress dashboard. And again, as you can see, this was created for us in just a few seconds. So this is quite impressive. Now let me show you how you can install Spectra and how you can build website very easily uh, with super intuitive tools and features. So let's go to the Spectra website first. And as you can see, their tagline is create your dream website with a visual website builder. And this is the key guys, okay? This is actually, is gonna turn your Gutenberg page editor into a visual website builder. And this is why I said it's very intuitive and you're gonna build website very fast as well. And they will look very professional indeed. So let's address the pricing first. So let's have a quick look. So as you can see, they have special offers at the moment running. So special pricing up to 50% discount. So take full advantage of this. So at the moment, as you can see, it's only 39 US dollars instead of 59. So this is for Spectra Pro. So what is included here? Well, we get the, all the features of, of Spectra Pro. So we're going to demonstrate that in this video, of course. You get all the custom blocks and all the extensions as well. Now you can get the Essential Toolkit as well for 69 US dollars on special offer at the moment instead of 99. And with this, you get Astra Pro, you get premium starter template and also priority support. Or you can get the Business Toolkit, which is the most popular one instead of 199 only 129 at the moment and for this you get all these different features here okay so the one we're going to use today is basically this one here the starter package at 39 us dollars which is absolutely fine to build any type of website that you can dream of so let's get this one and now let's go back to the wordpress dashboard and i'm going to show you how to install this very good so the very first step is to install our theme so which one should we choose well it's very simple the most compatible one for spectra is spectra one which is designed specifically to work with Spectra, but you can select any other theme that you want, obviously, you know. So we go to themes, as you can see, this is the default one, the 2024, so add a new theme. So you could install, for instance, Astra as well. Astra is from the same company, so it will be fully compatible with Spectra as well. It will work perfectly, no problem. So I could either install this one, or you can search for Spectra one. Very good, so this is the one here. And again, this one is free to install. So just install this, okay, so install. Very good, and then activate. Excellent, and as you can see, now it's asking you to install Spectra Builder. So there are two different versions of Spectra Builder. You have the free version and the pro version. So you don't have to use the pro version immediately. You can test things out with the free version. If you want to build an amazing website, the easy way, obviously the pro version is the way to go. So for this tutorial here, we're gonna use both of them. We're gonna install the free version first, which is what we need to do. And then I'm gonna show you how to install the pro version and unleash all these amazing features, okay? So let's install Spectra Builder. Excellent, so as you can see, this is done now. And now we're gonna install the pro version. So for this, we go to plugins, add new plugin, and then upload plugin, choose file, and then select the file that's called Spectra Pro, okay? And then open, install, activate. And as you can see, it's asking for a license key. So we copy and paste this, control V, and then activate. Excellent, as you can see, this has been successfully activated, and now we have access to the pro version and its license, okay? 
across. Let's unleash all these different features and let me show you how easily you can build a beautiful and really professional website. So let's go to our pages here. And this is basically what the magic will happen now. Let me show you the main issue that people face when designing website using Gutenberg. So what I've done, I created another instance here, as you can see, basic Gutenberg. And for this one, we have no Spectra installed. It's just the basic uh, WordPress package, okay? So if you go to pages, add a new page, and you want to design your page, so let's say test page, okay? And you want to start creating your page. The only options available is click on this plus sign or this one here, and then you can insert blocks. So if I insert a heading, there you go. So basically here you have no real structure in place like a grid mode or flex box or any of this. And you're very limited uh, when it comes to options here by the side for your blocks. So if I click on heading, that's the only options we have. As you can see the color, the typography, and you can add maybe a few other advanced features but that's basically it so it's not really user friendly and not that intuitive either so let me show you how spectra solves that problem so let's go here now as you can see this is the spectra demo with the full spectra installed the pro version now let's create a new page together add new page Excellent. And immediately from here, you can see we have different layout all together. So let's compare the two. So here, basically, this is the usual Gutenberg editor. All you have to do is click on this, but that's the only option you have to add your elements. But right here, immediately by the side, as you can see, you have all these different features. So what is this? Well, this is your containers. These are your heading, images, buttons, info box, etc., etc. So these are already handy features you can use to build your pages. You have the design library as well. So if you click on this, you can select among different patterns, pages and kits. So what's the difference between those three? Well, patterns basically are blocks that you can insert pre-made, pre-designed blocks that will help you to design pages super fast. As you can see, normally you start your page with a hero section. So click on hero and these are all your hero section you can select. So all you have to do is to insert it, click insert and it will insert that on your page. And then after this, usually you have about us, a few features, etc., etc. As you can see, all the main sections that you use normally every day to build websites is right there, ready to use for you. And then we have your pages. So if you don't want to create step by step, block by block, you can use pages, ready-made pages. And as you can see by the side of all your main pages, usually you have a home page about us, services, and contact us. So all you have to do is click on this. So let's start with the home page. And then you can select any of those layouts and insert them and then customize them as you see fit. And then you have kits. So what are kits? Well, kits is basically a ready-made template, like a full website, ready-made with all the pages ready to go. So as you can see, I have Love Nature, Outdoor Adventure. So these are multi-purpose type of themes. Or you have specific ones like a brand store or perhaps your dental clinic and things like that, okay? So it's, it's very easy to build whatever it is that you have in mind super easily using either patterns, pages, or kits. So let's exit out of this for now. So again, by the side of all your tools, as you can see, you have containers, heading, images, etc., etc. Now you can add as many as you want. So these are basically all the tools that you would use on a daily basis to build your website. You can put them there and so you don't have to go back into the menu and search for them each and every time. So let's add one here together as an example. So let's say you add an FAQ, you can add FAQs. And if you want to remove any of them, like maybe info box, you don't use them that often. Maybe you can remove it all together just like this. Okay. Now you can add info box again and it can go the other way around and that's basically it okay so these are basically a quick access uh, tools that you can use to build your pages now by the side here as you can see have the spectra logo click on this so these are your page settings so do you want to disable the header disable the footer or enable sticky header and enable transparent header so depending on what you're building basically you can enable those settings here so this is this and now here you have the ai assistant so this is a, another uh, amazing feature uh, you can build 10x faster with Spectra AI and using ZipWP, it's even faster. So let me move myself to the other side so you can see everything that's behind. So what will this help you to achieve? Well, you can translate your pages, which is very handy. Write content for your pages. Again, you're going to save a lot of time with this, you know, generate custom code, 
uh, customized templates, craft product description. Again, very handy indeed if you uh, build an, an e-commerce website or engage with comments. So again, the possibilities are endless as it is here. You know, all you have to do is type your questions here and it will write it for you. So we don't need to demonstrate that this is pretty self-explanatory for now. Okay. So now let me show you the most amazing part with Spectra and why it's so intuitive and so easy to use. So normally with uh, Gutenberg, let's go back to this one. When you add a heading like this, as you can see, the only options available to customize this is basically the color of the text, the background, and the size and the font. That's all you can change basically, which is very limited when you think of it. Now, if you go to Spectra here and add the exact same item, so let's go here and add a heading. Very good, so this is your attractive heading. And then you expand here by the side, you have all your tools. And right here, as you can see, you have three different tabs, three different areas that you can use to customize your block exactly the way you want it. So as you can see, you have the general tab, you have the styling tab and also advanced. So with these, basically you can customize your blocks exactly the way you want. Compared to the traditional Gutenberg, you have very limited features to customize your blocks. So this is one of the main aspects of Spectra that will help you design and build fantastic websites. And obviously, thanks to those three areas, you have a lot more control over the finished product and the result you want to bring out. Now, let me show you another amazing feature. So let me delete this for now. Okay, so now let me show you something amazing. So if you go here, you click on the plus sign, you have all your different blocks that you can use on your page. And the nice thing, they're broken down into different sections. So here you have all your blocks. Here you have your patterns. You can see call to action, contact, featured footer, header, and so on. And then your media as well, you know. So now the best feature here that's going to save you so much time and that you don't have available in the classic Gutenberg is the container. So let me show you how this works. So if you click on containers here, you can select which type of container you want to insert. So it could be one columns, two columns, three columns, four columns, or maybe two columns and a few rows. And you even have those types here that would be very difficult to implement uh, without Spectra. So let me show you, especially this one here. Click on this and then insert it. And there you go, guys. As you can see, you have all these containers created for you automatically here. And again, like I said, this would be very difficult to build using the classic and conventional uh, Gutenberg. So if you were to go back to this one here and click on the plus sign, all you have basically is your columns. That's all you have. That's all that's available. You don't have containers with Gutenberg. And now you have it thanks to Spectra. But you get a lot of other features as well. So for instance, I can see by the side, you can say if it's full width, box or custom. And and also the same for the content width. So within your container, do you want it to be box or full width? And then you can set the content box width. So let's say maybe you're gonna set this to 1200 or which aspect ratio you prefer. And you can set a minimum height as well. So let's say maybe 420. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of spacing in between and all that until you add some content, they will look a bit bare like this and, and not really organized properly. But there is a magic button again here. You can make them equal height. Look at this, just using the toggle switch here and boom, just like that, everything is equal height. So it's very well thought out. And I said again, this is to help you build websites faster, but that's not it. There's another feature you're gonna love. So let's scroll down the page here. As you can see, I have layout. So click on that and expand. So here, as you can see, you can set your container as being flex or grid. So flex, uh, they were the first one to introduce that on the market. And then now you have the grid layout as well. So let's take care of the flex for now, yeah, as you can see. So you can select the direction for your blocks. You know, if I click on this, obviously they will display on top of each other. If I select this, it's the other way around, left to right. And this one is uh, from the bottom to the top. So let's stick to the usual conventional uh, direction. And then as you can see here, you can align the items or you can align them on top, uh, maybe spaced uh, equally, maybe at the bottom or like we did exactly like now, uh, basically stretch to have, have equal height. And then you have your justified content. So this is uh, uh, horizontally, obviously, you know, uh, to the left, to the right, spaced up and so on. And then you can do the same with your content. So whatever you add in here can be aligned as well accordingly from within the container itself. Now, let me show you the most amazing and most impressive feature is the grid layout. So this has just been introduced. This is brand new. Uh, so let me go through this step by step and you're going to be very impressed by it. And let me show you how you can use this to your advantage. So you can design literally whatever you want using the grid feature, which is absolutely amazing. 
So let me go here. I've designed something very quickly here. So let's pretend this is the layout you want to put in place. So let's say something very similar to this. So you would have one, two here on top, but uh, this one here at the bottom and maybe one here by the side. So this could be maybe part of your hero section or whatever it is, you know, you could have image in the background, maybe a heading and a bit of text and so on and so on. And this is the layout that you want to create. You can do that no problem let me show you how this works so as you can see here we have technically three columns so we have one here two and three columns okay and then we have two rows right now here's a tricky bit normally this one here is overlapping on both uh, different rows row one and row two so now let me show you how you can create this using spectra grid so let's go back to our website very good. So back here, as you can see, we have four different containers. So what you need to do now is to click on the main outer container. So the one that contains the whole, uh, the other containers. Okay. So make sure this is the one you select. And now if you go to grid, as you can see, you have all these different columns here. So you have columns and rows. And this is where you can create and set how many columns you have and how many rows. So how do you do so? Very easy. Click on the plus sign. So we're going to create three different columns. So column one, column two, column three, as you can see now of three different columns and we need two rows as well. So I'll do the same with the row. So add an additional row, row one, row two. Okay, very good. So as you can see, our four different blocks are right here, different containers. And now we need to set the different width as well. So as you can see, this one and this one is fine, but this one should be spread over two different columns. And this one should actually display here over two rows. So before we proceed, let's go back to the layout we're trying to replicate here. So as you can see, I've created this for you. So let's pretend this one is container one. This one is container two. This one is container three and this one container four. So container three and four. So three should be over two different columns and container four over two different rows. So let me show you how you can apply this now. So very good. So back to our Spectra Builder here. So I'm going to customize each and one of them a little bit. So we go to style. I'm going to add a background color here. So maybe some shade of pink like this. And we can do the same with the others very quickly. OK, so I'm going to add this here. Excellent. And now maybe you can add a header inside each one of them. So we know which container we're working on. OK, so this one will be container one. And I'm going to center this. And then we can do the same with the others very quickly as well. Very good. As you can see, you know, I have container one, two, three, and four. So container one and two are absolutely fine the way they are. Now container three should be here underneath and spread over two different columns. And this one should go here and over two rows. So this is when the magic happens. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay. So let's click on container three. We go to general, scroll down the page. We go to grid item settings. And right here, as you can see, you have column width and row height. And this is where you can set this up. So column width for this one technically should be two columns. Okay, so we're going to select two here, one, two. And as you can see, immediately goes here at the bottom in between those two spread over two different columns. Okay, and we do the same with container four. So this one should be spread over two rows. Okay, so this is the one here. So one, two, very good. So as you can see, it is still displaying here at the bottom where uh, it should actually be displaying here from the top, right here over those two different uh, rows. So how can you set this up? Well, for this, we have to go into the advanced tab here. So we have simple and advanced. So simple is to set your width and row height. And then if you go to advanced and from here, you can set your column start and row start and row end. So this is basically called mapping, which is an amazing feature. I'm going to show you this in a few seconds. So how does this work exactly? Let's go back to our main layout. Very good. So as you can see, we have content one, two, three, and four. Now for the mapping, how does this work? Well, it works based on starting and end points on your container. So this works for columns and rows. So for your columns, you have one, two, three, and four. These are your starting points. Okay. And for the rows is the same. You have one, two, and three. Now, let me show you how to replicate that into Spectra Builder. So here it should start at column. So this is one, two, three. Okay. So three. It ends at column four. Very good. And row start should be row one. And it ends at row three. And there you go. As you can see, this is exactly what we wanted. So container one, two, three here over two columns and this one over two rows. So guys, come on. This is just amazing. You have content mapping now that you can use to create exactly what is it that you want using the grid builder from Spectra.
So there you go guys, this was an introduction to the Spectra page builder. Now let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the layout mapping using CSS Grid? That's quite an impressive feature that isn't it? Well, again, let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Now if you'd like to give it a go, as always, you'll find all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.